have prepared a video for you about coronary artery disease. The purpose of this video is to create awareness about what coronary artery disease is, its causes and risk factors, preventive measures, the signs and symptoms, even complications, diagnosis, and treatment. Let me first start with defining the, the, the disease coronary artery disease. This is also known as coronary heart disease. The problem is with the coronary arteries. It is a disease of the blood vessels that supply oxygenated blood to the heart muscle cells. The main problem is that there is an accumulation of fatty substance or a waxy substance we call plaque. And this plaque now will be deposited in the inner lining of the coronary arteries. The problem, it can lead to the hardening of the arteries and even to the rupture of the plaque. What happens now if there is hardening of the arteries? This can lead to the narrowing of the lumen or the space inside the coronary arteries. Will it affect the blood flow now going to the heart? Yes, of course, it will lead now to the decreased tissue perfusion of the cardiac muscle or the heart muscle. And that can lead to angina or what we call as your chest pain. Aside from that, your, uh, uh, if a rupture happens with the plaque, this can lead now to an injury to the inner lining of the coronary arteries and will lead eventually to the formation of a large blood clot. The large blood clot now can eventually occlude the inner lining or the space inside the coronary artery, cutting off now the blood supply going to the heart muscle. And that is not good because it will lead to the death of the cardiac muscle. This is what we call now a sure heart attack or in, in, in the medical term is myocardial infarction. As mentioned before, coronary artery disease is a disease of the blood vessels supplying oxygen-rich blood to the heart muscle. This is now a model, a model of the heart, showing now the blood vessels and the heart itself. The blue one will be the veins, which will carry the oxygenated blood, while the red ones, the coronary arteries. Remember, the heart also would be needing its own blood supply uh, because it needs oxygen in order to perform its function. The heart is the pumping organ of the body, so it would also be needing a lot of oxygen to perform its function. The problem now in this coronary arteries is when they, these are damaged, for, for example, due to the accumulation of fatty plaques uh, inside or in the, in the inner lining of the coronary arteries. Once this one will be blocked, for example, the blood flow going to the rest of the other branches, going to the heart muscle cell, will be also blocked, leading now to the tissue death of the heart muscle. And that leads now to myocardial infarction. Infarction means tissue death. And it, of course, it affects now the action or the function of the heart which can also uh, lead to the untimely death of a person. Now, aside from this overview, let us now discuss what are the causes of coronary artery disease. Let me tell you the list of the factors that can lead to the injury or damage of the coronary arteries. Number one can be smoking. Number two will be hypertension. Increased blood cholesterol also is a factor and even increase blood sugar level as well as if there is blood vessel inflammation. There are also other factors that can increase your risk of having CAD or coronary artery disease. And what are these? We have a long list actually for this. Number one will be older age. Number two can be a family history of coronary artery disease. Number three, it can be a healthy diet. Number four, it can be due to smoking as well, 
even diabetes, uh, uh, lack of exercise or physical activity, and also it can be also due to your metabolic syndrome. If you want to ask what is metabolic syndrome, it is a cluster of conditions such as having blood, high blood pressure, high cholesterol or triglycerides, plus excess fat around the waist. If they occur together at the same time, we call that as metabolic syndrome. And the chances of having coronary artery disease will become higher. Now, well, let's go to the different signs and symptoms of the disease. There are two most common signs and symptoms of CAD. This will be your shortness of breath and your chest pain or angina. Although some people do not experience any signs and symptoms, but it's important that you have to go to a doctor for advice. What about the preventive measures? What can we do in order to prevent uh, from having the coronary artery disease? We can suggest now that you have to review the different risk factors that can be modified, such as we have to do, of course, what we, uh, number one, we can do healthy eating. We can do exercise. We have to be fit. We have to engage in physical activity. We have to also avoid smoking or quit smoking. It's better. And also, we can also manage, we have to know how to manage our stress. In terms of food, we, it's advised that we eat more on the vegetables, the fruits, uh, whole, whole bread or whole grains, as well as proteins like fish, and to limit our salt intake, as well as added sugars and fatty food. Let us now discuss the diagnosis of coronary artery disease. So if you will go to the doctor, the doctor will be doing a physical examination and history taking as well as he might or he may prescribe diagnostic and lab tests. Uh, the lab tests now and the diagnostic tests can include, number one, like a blood test, chest x-ray, ECG or electrocardiography, echocardiography, and also coronary angiography plus a stress test. These are the possible laboratory tests and diagnostic tests the doctor may prescribe for a patient who is suspected to be having coronary artery disease. In terms of management, the doctor, of course, will be prescribing medicines, maybe also giving, maybe also prescribing uh, medical procedures and surgery, cardiac rehabilitation. But one thing that is very important for the management of coronary artery disease is lifestyle modification. Remember, coronary artery disease can cause serious complications. It is about time that you have to uh, do some lifestyle changes and also seek doctor advice if needed. Remember, health is wealth.